Hi guys, um, so as you can see, it is just Princess here today, and I know it has been a minute since we filmed. I just mean it's been a really, really long time, and I don't have an excuse besides saying that Leanne and I have both been really, really busy. I didn't even think this video was going to happen until my work called in and cancelled so maybe I didn't have to work today and that is why I have been able to film so I just want to say that we are really sorry for not having filmed in so long we have really meant to um and there's time there has been times where I've been like you know what I don't really feel like I'm in the place to film right now and that was just something that was personal to me in my relationship with God. I just felt like I wasn't in the place to be giving people advice. Um, I know no one's perfect, but that's just one of the things I was dealing with. Anyways, so I just want to talk about the current or the previous season of my life because I believe I'm out of that season in Jesus name. Amen. I just want to talk about, um, yeah how life has been for me in the last couple of months. So I believe the last time we posted a video was hmm, maybe I don't remember December, maybe October, like late October and it's now a new year. So happy new year guys. Um yeah so I posted on my blog and I, I'll link it down below just sort of what a year, what kind of year it's been for me. And I just really want to focus on the last couple of months. I would, I would say that I was sort of in a place of running away. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, um, just not wanting, not choosing God. You know, you have the choice to choose this world and you have the, the choice to choose God. And it was just one of those things where I was in a place where I didn't want to I didn't want to commit to anything. I was just like, you know what, I can't be bothered. I didn't have any motivation to do anything. I just, I just slacked, to be honest. I just, I didn't want to read my Bible. I didn't want to pray. I didn't want to draw near to God. And the word that he was placed on my heart in that time was um, a lot to do with Jeremiah and the runaway bride. And I'm actually reading a book by Heather Lindsay called The Runaway Bride right now. It's just kind of talking about how Jesus is our husband and how we, at different points in our lives, can run away from him. And I couldn't even read this book for a long time because it was just too convicting and it was too much like my situation. And I was just like, oh, I'll read it tomorrow. And I just left it kind of. So I'm back to reading it now. Um, just sort of the words that God spoke to me in that time. Okay, I'll read a scripture for you. Um, I just felt like the main theme of what God was saying to me was return. Like, you know, return as my bride. And there's a scripture in Jeremiah, which is Jeremiah 3 verses 14. And it says, return faithless people, declares the Lord, for I am your husband and I will choose you. Um, huh. And Jeremiah 2 verses 2, it says, I remember the devotion of your youth, how as a bride you loved me and followed me through the wilderness, through a land not so. And I wrote down that this is the kind of first love that God wants us to have. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the scripture in Revelation, which says, um, this is the thing I hold against you, that you have forsaken your first love or you've turned away from your first love. And I just feel like that was kind of the word that God was placing on my heart in that season, that just return to me, you know, for I am your husband, I will choose you, I love you, you know, I will not forsake you. Um, yeah, so it's sort of, it's sort of that first love that I was, I was trying to turn away from and now I'm trying to find my way back there. And it's honestly a difficult process, it's a difficult thing to go through. I don't know, like a lot of times we think, you know, just because Leanne and Prince has filmed videos, you know, they are perfect or they don't struggle like I really hope that's not what anyone thinks because that couldn't be farther from the truth um yeah so it was that sort of season for me just running away from what I knew was true just choosing just not being motivated to 
to come near to God, not wanting to, you know, to be intentional in knowing Him. And, you know, if you choose to stay in that season, I, I just remember how I felt. I didn't feel good at all when I was in that season. I just felt, I felt so far away from home. And that that is partly one of the reasons why I didn't want to film because I was just like, I have no advice to give to these people. They should be giving me advice. Um, but I'm just really grateful for God's grace that he's been really patient with me. That's something that I feel like has has been his main theme for me this year. It's just patience and mercy and grace. Um, and I'm not trying to say that there's no such thing as judgment or anything like that, but I'm just saying for me that God showed me so much mercy in this time and he's been really patient with me because um, even from what I wrote on my blog, I was like, it, I'm so grateful that God is not like us humans because I would have given up on myself a long time ago. So I'm just really grateful for him um, constantly choosing me and constantly, you know, calling us back. And that's something that stood out to me a lot in that season that w when I expected God to be like, okay, I want nothing to do with you. You are just, you're just lost hope. You're a lost cause. That's when I felt him the most. That's when I felt him calling me back. Like I just felt his spirit saying, you know, just, it's not too late. You can turn around, you can come back to me. And I just want to encourage anyone who feels like that right now, who feels like, you know, who doesn't want to try to get to know God anymore, who's just given up, who's just in a season of dryness or a nighttime season is what I would call it, um, where you just don't, you're just not in the mood, really. You don't have any desire for God anymore. You don't have any reverence. You don't have any fear of God anymore. Just, I just, I'm just going to tell you that, you know, it's so much better when you're back in that place and you know who the father is again and you have that relationship again you just have this fulfillment and that's how i feel right now i just feel like i'm home and i feel like that's what god is he is home and when you're away from home you feel lost you don't feel like yourself um and it's not too late for any of you out there who are in the same season that i was where i just i couldn't be bothered anymore um i didn't want to try no reverence for god no cares I just want to encourage you that God is still there and he's waiting for you and he is your bride. I mean, sorry, you are his bride and he is your husband and you can turn back to him and it's not too late. Um, there's also another scripture that was sort of on my heart in that season. And it's Hebrews 10 verses 37 to 38 and it says, for in just a little while, he who is coming will not delay. And, but my righteous one will live by faith and I take no pleasure in the one who shrinks back. So that's my goal for this year, to not shrink back. And I don't know if you've ever heard of that scripture which says, be steadfast and immovable. But I wanna encourage all of you out there to make that your goal this year. Don't turn back, don't, don't, don't be wavering. Just look to be steadfast in him. Look to him all the time. Ask him for strength to keep your way secure um, so that you won't fall, so that you won't stumble, so that you won't fall away. Because I believe that it's so worth it. It is really worth it. And the reason why this life is so difficult sometimes and it, it feels like there's no way out is because the enemy wants you to give up and he wants you to think that, oh, you know what, like there's no point anymore. Because he knows when you really try and when you really pursue you God the things that he can do with you is amazing and, and I just want to encourage you that he has an amazing plan for your life and I may be rambling on but I'm just I didn't want to write down a plan for this video it's just like okay God just speak whatever you want to um so I just want to encourage you right now that don't shrink back because it says that he takes no pleasure in the one who shrinks back so seek to keep moving forward all the time seek to be steadfast and immovable and um I'm just gonna pray and end this video. Um, so, faithful Father, I just thank you so much for these people. Lord, I just thank you for all that you're doing. Lord, I know that you see our hearts, Lord God. God, you see, our, you see, Lord, whether we're really for you or not. And I just pray for anyone who has been in the season that I was or who is in it right now. Lord, I just pray for you to constantly call them back, Lord, like you did with me, like you didn't give up on me. Lord, I just pray that you'll just show them just how constant you are, how, how just 
just how much you love them, Lord God, and just call them back and, and lead them through the season, Lord. And I just pray that you'll be the light in whatever darkness that anyone might be in right now, Lord. And I just thank you for who you are in Jesus' name. Amen. I forgot to mention a scripture. This is my, like, my scripture for the year, basically. And it's in First Chronicles. And you, my son Solomon, acknowledge the God of your father and serve him with wholehearted devotion and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches every heart and understands every desire and every thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. Consider now, for the Lord has chosen you to build a house as the sanctuary. Be strong and do the work. So what really stood out to me in the scriptures, um, acknowledge the God of your father and serve him with wholehearted devotion and with a willing mind. Now, you know in your heart when you're putting your whole heart into something, when you're, you're doing everything with all that you are. Um, and that's the way we should treat this relationship with, with God. We should constantly be pursuing him um, with wholehearted devotion and with a willing mind. And it says, for the Lord searches every heart and understands every desire. So you can't be like, oh God, I'm seeking you with my whole heart. He knows if you're seeking him with your whole heart. It says he understands every desire and thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you. So he knows truly when we're chasing him and, and he knows when we're pretending and when we've given up. So, you know, you have a choice and I just pray that you would choose to, to, to seek him and to constantly pursue him because it's, it's worth it. And I can promise you that like at the end of all time when everything is over, we'll just be so grateful that we um, did shrink back and we kept our faith and we kept going. Um, so... This is where I'm going to end this video today. Thank you guys for watching and I hope it helped someone out there. I didn't really have a plan for this video. I just kind of wanted to talk about where I've been lately. And so yeah, let's just keep praying for each other and um, I believe God will keep working. So thank you guys for, for watching and um, like, subscribe and share. And I will link my blog down below and Leanne's blog and everything like that. So God bless you guys and I will see you another time, hopefully sooner than later. Bye.